Hi, I'm Nate at Practical Garden Ponds. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the meat and potatoes of the pond system, what separates one pond from another, and that's the filtration system. So let's get practical. This Helix skimmer is, is just our favorite skimmer. It's our go-to. It's what we use in most of our pond installations. But obviously there are other skimmers, small ponds, you might want something a little more um, shorter depending if you can't dig deep enough for the Helix skimmer or something like that. There are more economical skimmers on the market. This is still our favorite and the best uh, in our opinion. But to have a skimmer is an extremely important part of a pond setup. It's not the only way to do it. Sometimes with homeowners and preformed ponds, there are situations where you don't need or, or simply can't apply a skimmer. But as we professionally build ponds, sort of our minimum pond includes a skimmer. And that's because the skimmer will take leaves and things as they fall into the pond while they're still floating on the water and, and suck them in, get them out of the pond instead of having them sink to the bottom where they become dead organic matter. In addition to that, your pump is either going to be in the skimmer or beyond the skimmer. In our case, it's an external pump. We've got piping that goes to where the pump is located in the basement inside the house. But if a submersible pump was in the bottom of the skimmer or an external pump, either way, your pump is not in the pond. Your tubing is not in the pond. Your electric cords are not in the pond. So it takes a lot of unsightly things that otherwise end up in the pond and removes them. So it protects your pump. It hides your pump and it takes all the floating debris off of the top of the pond before it saturates and sinks to the bottom of the pond. We think a skimmer is a backbone to a low maintenance, high quality pond setup. So with that Helix skimmer, uh, we are matching it with the Helix moving bed waterfall filter. What's unique about this particular waterfall filter is that it's absolutely no maintenance. You set it and forget it. This is a filter that has loose media floating inside. It's fully aerated, so it gets tremendous uh, boiling action going on inside that aerates the bacteria, leaving for a major colonization of bacteria, so you have high capacity of biological activity. The downside, though, is that this is not a particle filter. It never takes dirt particles of any kind out of the pond. It's not gonna do anything for dog hair or a leaf. What it does do is converts ammonia to nitrate, nitrate to nitrate. It's a very effective biological filter, extremely effective biological filter. It's been tested using feeding the fish in the pond up to two pounds of fish food a day without ever having a spike in the ammonia level in the pond. Incredible great filter in the right application. And the right application is where it's not the only filter in the pond. You're gonna to have to have something doing particle filtration elsewhere in the pond. This is simply an incredible biological filter. We're gonna locate it at the head of our stream. We're gonna set it back in there partly under the deck. It's gonna be hidden back there. It's gonna be facaded in rock, of course, and the stream is gonna to head to the pond. This is one part of our fourfold filtration system in this awesome pond. Together, these four pieces are gonna make incredible filtration for extremely low maintenance and spectacular results. Now we're gonna talk about the third aspect of a four-fold filtration system, which in this case is our under gravel suction grid. The entire flat bottom of this pond is going to become a filter. It's going to basically have a PVC grid perforated across the bottom of the pond, kind of like a French drain. We're gonna draw water through that grid uh, down through eight to 10 inches of three quarter inch gravel. That gravel becomes a biological and particle filter and the result is you never have to clean the bottom of the pond.
So we've already talked about why have an undergravel grid and what it does. We haven't talked about how to power it. There are basically two ways. You can hook it to your external pump. We usually use a three-way valve so we can control how much water comes from the skimmer and how much comes from the undergravel grid. The other way is a in, uh, very innovative technology called airlift technology. We're going to simply use a lift tube to carry the water by air up the tube and into the grids on the side where underneath the bogs where the water will come down through the suction grid and up out through the plant bogs and give the plants an opportunity to be fertilized and to take the nitrates out of the water. Very cost effective, costs about 10% of using a regular water pump. Another extremely important aspect of the four-fold filtration system is living plants. Not passive plants in a pot off to the side doing very little, but plants where the roots of the plants are being exposed to the water that's actively moving through the plants. This takes the nitrate out of the water and gives great healthy growth to your plants, making a natural, beautiful living filter system. So to recap, in our four-fold filtration system, we've got our Helix skimmer. We've got our Helix moving bed filter for tremendous biological capacity. We've got our under gravel suction grid to keep the bottom of the pond clean. And then we're pushing that water up through a living plant filter to take the nitrates out of the water. All of that together means for you an extremely low maintenance pond with spectacular results, crystal clear water, beautiful pond with very little effort. In our next video, we're going to be talking about marrying form and function, beauty and purpose together. Uh, until then, if I can help you plan your own practical dream pond, don't hesitate to contact me or to check out our website. Thanks, and have a great day.